Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. Elon Paul here on episode four of season three. Well, I guess season three isn't really. I have it attempt three. Attempt number three, episode four of the Fugitive Challenge from Beeblebum. So we, as you saw in the last episode, that got kind of hairy, didn't it? So kind of not very, not a very smart thing to do, <laughs> to say the least. But hey, uh, we got somewhere with this, okay? So, so back off. Um, anyway, we need wiring looms, of course. We're not going to be able to get them anytime soon, but I'm not worried about that. We need gold. We can get gold. Uh, so we can get one, two, three different areas of this repaired real quick and open up the technology slots. Um, we need platinum, and we can get that in space too, but there are also planets that have platinum on it, and I'm going to take a look around for that. More gold, more magnetized ferrite, and it looks like we're going to be shooting at the ground a little bit here to pick up some more materials, because we need a lot of ferrite. Um, I've got one, two, three, four, five slots open on my ship here, so I am going to start loading up on materials that we can shoot the ground for. So let's go ahead and do that because I need a lot of ferrite. Uh, look for those dark patches like over here. And I like to be in first person when I'm doing this. I'm just going to glide slowly. Be very, very quiet. <laughs> I'm hunting ferrite. Okay. Two oxygen. Ah, <laughs> Come on, let it build in. Come on, build it in. Thank you. There we go. Overheat. Of course it's an overheat. I need a lot of ferrite. Come on. A lot of animals on the ground, unfortunately. Yep, killed something. Really? Hold on. Let's find out. Wow, okay. Let's get rid of you and get rid of you. Eh, why not? Put that over there, too. Alright, so we got a good amount of ferrite out of that. I need more. Because that's a lot of mag uh, magnetized ferrite I need. Do do do. Nothing like uh, farming with your lasers on your ship. Okay. Should be enough. Okay, how much we got? Let's see. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're doing all right. We're doing okay. Okay, that should be good. So now we need platinum. And gold. Where do we find platinum and gold? Let's get out of this planet. This is a nice little planet, by the way. I want to be clear. It's a moon, actually. We aren't finding what we need on the moon. I was hoping to find a lot of crashed ships and stuff. But we're not finding it. So... Let's see what we got out here real quick. Hey, we're not going to... Oh, yeah, we do want to answer this, but we're not going to do anything with it, okay? Watch. Uh, remain silent. Because we're not actually speaking to anybody. Continue to remain silent. And the transmission. Okay, good. We do have to get that out of the way, or else it'll just keep bugging the crap out of us. So, no, we're not going to head to the coordinates. Thank you. All right, so what do we got? Let's get into this. Uh, yeah, we're not going to do it. Stop telling me. You're not the boss of me. All right, I'm looking for platinum. We got copper, pyrite, sodium. We may have to go to another system in order to find what we're looking for. And we haven't been to a system yet. We're not heading to the space station, in case you're wondering. I just want to get out of the way of the planetary interference here. All right, so this one. Swamp. Uh, magnetized ferrite, but we're going to be making our own. I'm not really worried about it. Let's get the other planet. Copper, rusted metal, and sodium. And that one is the one that we started on. Uh, and where we have a portal, so we'll know where the portal is, and we'll be able to come back at some point. 
if we decide to come back. I don't think there's any other planets here. Because that's the planets that, we just, that we've gone through. Okay, so those. We've done that one. This one here, and there are no other... Oh, there's one more. One more right here. Star bulb. Uh, nope, see, we're not getting what we need. Okay, so let's head out. I think it's time to warp and get out of the system. Um, galactic core. Okay, good. And where is it? There. Okay. So our next system brings us down here. We don't have an economy scanner, so we're at the mercy of whatever we find. Um, cadmium drive. There's a system here. They used to be able to have a little pirate emblem next to them at some point, but I don't know if I'm ever going to find a pirate system this way. So we're going to have to get an economy scanner one of these days. Um, so it's going to be up to us to search a system and look for... Yeah, see, there's not a lot of planets there. It's only three. Okay, let's see if we can find something else. Yes, hello. Cadmium drive. It's hard to tell with these colors. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. No moons. Ah, okay. One, two, three, four. And that one has two moons for it. So I think we're going to... Oh, it's a dissonant system. Eee. Okay, let's do it. Get ourselves a sentinel ship. That we can fly around in. But we just got to remember, we have to remember that when we do find a crashed solar ship, we are going to have to um, switch over to the solar ship anytime we want to enter the space station. It's one of the big rules that we always keep forgetting. So... All right. Now, I said in a comment to one of the people who watched episode two before episode three, um, who gave me a nice long list of things, and they said, hey, what if we do this, that, and the other thing? He gave us a lot of different things. So I'm going to be reading that off here in just a minute. Um, I'm looking for some more gold. Um, okay, those ones are not giving me what I'm looking for. Silver. Where's my gold? There's some gold. Come on. All right. Tritium hyperclusters. Yeah, I need more of those. I'm looking for gold, folks. Gold nugget. Three gold nuggets. Oh, that's that's more gold. That's just gold. All right, good. I was hoping for three gold nuggets. That would have been fantastic. Probably would have ended up with what we wanted. There's two. Okay, we got some more gold. Used to find a lot of uh, platinum in these fields, but... I think they've removed it because I haven't seen it in a while. Could be wrong. Maybe I'll look elsewhere. How much gold do we have? Let's see. 26 gold. Where's my gold nuggets? 144 gold. Hold on. So let's do this. So that's open. That's open. I don't know if we have enough to do the last one. We do. Alright, so technology is as far as we're going to get it. We need wiring looms to fix the rest. Um, leaves us with 9 gold. And we need... 1, 2, 3. So about another 150 gold, give or take. Alright. Ignore that. Let's say, why is that not blowing up? Oh, look at this. We've got a ship out here that's going to be mining with us. Okay, it looks like Delta-1246 at the time I'm recording this has just gone live to do the run as well. I will do a live run again. I was having trouble in my last one, so I've been working on figuring out the problems and adjusting things, etc, etc, etc. That used to get, those weird funky ones used to get platinum. But, 
Yeah, I'm not getting platinum out of them anymore. All right, how are we doing? 30. 88. We're close. And we should really check out the planets in the system, because you know, I'm probably going to end up with a planet that has gold deposits on it or something stupid like that, and I'm doing this for nothing. One more, uh, one more gold nugget and I should be able to be good. Alright, let's see. 117, we're almost there. Another gold nugget. Okay, that should do it. Alright. That should take care of you. You. And I think I just damaged myself. You. And we need magnetized ferrite. Nope, we're good. Okay, let's check out the planets, shall we? So, we got one here. What do we got? Okay, so someone's discovered this system. Uh-oh. Okay. That could be dangerous for us, but I don't think we really have much of a choice. I wonder. Hold on. Uh, let's see. 792,000 he wants. I don't have that much. I mean, I do, but that's going to take up a good chunk of my money. I'm going to have to refuse. Let's uh, do what we can. Let me see. Where are we? Yeah, that would have taken up half my money. Okay, how many ships? How many ships? Just one, just one. Okay, fortunately it looks like only the one. Okay. Alright, we got lucky. Alright, which we should get some out of it. Okay, good, so that takes care of that. There's not much on that planet I can use. How about you? Uh, ammonia and salt. Let's get out of the planetary field here. And so we can see the rest of the planets. And the two moons. Yes, of course. I forgot about that. Ah, crap. Hate that. Get back down there. That has... Uranium, so that's good. What about you? One of these is dissident, so we'll figure out which one it is. Aggressive Sentinels. Oh, yeah, I want to go there. Set up a nice retreat. Not. Hmm. So which one do you think is the dissident planet? Frostbound? Is there any more planets? Oh, there's one more. One more over here I missed. Okay, what do we got? Temperate. That's actually not bad. Good to know. Not what we're looking for. Okay, so that covers all the planets. Now, the thing is, is that in this particular state, it's not going to tell us which one's the dissident one. Or, you know, per se. I'm thinking it's one of these. I don't think it's the aggressive one. That makes no sense. Could be the hot planet, but probably not. Let's take a look at the frostbound one, because occasionally frostbound planets have it. So let's go ahead and hit to the planet surface just real quick. And if we see any purple down there, we'll know. Because I think somebody else made that comment. They, they came into a dissonant system like, oh, look, it changed. It's not really dissonant. Oh, crap. You know, and they all, and then they left the system. And I'm like, eee. You see how the colors change? Yeah, see, I'm not seeing anything purple. I don't see any purple things popping up. I see a wrecked ship. I'm not worried about it. All right, let's head to the other planet. This one. There we go. And head over there. Could be the poisonous, or it could be one of the two moons. It'd be great if it was a moon, man. That would be freaking awesome. Because everything's more compact. 
Okay, and I'm staying in my cockpit because I, uh, in first person view, because I really want to see what's going on here. Looking for purple. Ah, guess what? This is our dissident world. I think. No. No. No, it's not. This happened to be some purple plants on it. Okay. Kind of pretty. But not what I'm looking for. Okay. Get out of here. That is, I think, one of the moons. Um, that's the aggressive sentinel moon, I think. Nope, that's a nuclear one. Okay, I head to the nuclear moon, see if it's here. I guarantee you one of these planets has got to have it. If it says it's, it says it's, it's a, no, I can't talk it again. Let's try that again in English. If it says it's a dissident system, it will have the planet. All right, I'm not seeing anything here either. Okay. Gosh, I hope it isn't the other one. I really, really hope that's not the case. That would really stink. The temperate one would be nice. I mean, it's got water and everything like that, but still would be pretty cool. Let's get over here on the other side. Alright, is that the moon? That's the hot planet. There was a moon. Moon! Are you the moon? Let's go to the moon. Let's see a purple sheen to it. I could be lying. Uh, let's see here. Alright. Oh, 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 this is good, this is good. This... is... the signal echo. Accept the coordinates. We will find our system now. Awesome! Now we can find it. Under Rebel Star has started, and it has... got to reach some our coordinates, and that will get us to the, uh, to a pirate system. Awesome. That is really, really good stuff. Really, really good stuff, folks. Alright, let's see if this is a dissonant planet. I was hoping that would happen sooner or later. Uh, let's see. Well, crap. Doesn't look like it. Is it all lies? They unintentionally lie to you all. Possibly. I do swear it was unintentional. Is that the planet that is... Let's go ahead over here. Nope. A little higher. A little higher. There we go. Get out of the atmosphere. Okay. Check out the other planet. Is this the temperate one? Or is that the aggressive one? That's the hot planet. Uh, let's see. It's, like I said, I'm pretty sure it's not the aggressive sentinel one. Alright, let's head to this one. It's pretty far out, but I am willing to take the journey. And I could really hope it is the temperate one. That would be really, really cool. There's no platinum on board the planet, but that's okay. So do we finish repairing these? We need magnetized ferrite. Which we have plenty of stuff now. What do we get? Geology cannon? That's pretty good. We can sell that. Alright. Yeah, okay, we got some work to do. Alright, 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 alright. So, like I said, I'm, we're gonna talk about it. We are gonna talk about it. Um, let me pull it up. Give me a second here. Okay, so the comment came from... I gotta hit the read more because it was a very long message he left. Uh, let's head into the atmosphere, and if it is what I'm looking for, we'll go ahead and just land and pause and wait a second. All the way down. Anything? Nothing. Okay. So I guess I did lie. Maybe it is the aggressive planet. I might check it out here in just a minute. Nice place, though. Hmm. Very nice. All right. Go back up. And we're going to figure out which one of those planets is the aggressive one. Alright, where do we have here? Is it you? Is it you? That's it. Verdant Moon. Let's check it out. 
All right, so here it is. And the person who left the comment, Austin Air CO, Austin Air Company, Fugitive Extreme Challenge, I'm going to read it word for word, race to the center comp... Uh, Comprise a scoring scheme to challenge others playing this method. Allow use of a single glyph as a strategy if it presents itself. Addition to the rules as follows. Allow bonus time credit for the for number of ships you have in inventory, not scrapped. If you get eight glyphs, there is no time penalty. Sentinel ships are harder to get because you need advanced mining lasers, so those ships would give you a bonus time. This is just an idea to challenge others and bring strategy among all the other hard parts to playing uh, all the other hard parts to playing this method. Would you do? What do you think? Good or bad idea? The winner of the challenge gets to host the other players and discuss the race, etc. Um, I want to start with this comment first, and regarding to the Beeble Bump challenge here, um, it's pretty freaking hard to begin with. Um, you've seen in my last episode, I almost got myself killed just trying to get some more pugnium and stuff like that. Um, very tough. Very tough. And you can see there's literally no nothing here. So dissident worlds are going to be hard to come by, I think. I don't know why, because that is kind of odd. So we're going to go to the rebel, rebel star thing here. I think that's where our next thing. So let's be clear. I'm going to go ahead and hit escape here real quick. What do I think of that? I'm not sure I like the point system idea. I mean, it's it's a good idea. Don't get me wrong, uh, Austin Airco. Um, I think it's already challenging enough. And when we go out to our main menu, when we look at our game save, it tells us how much time it took for us to get to the Galaxy Center. At this point, no one has reached the Galaxy Center. We're all struggling to do it. It's been tough. Even Beeblebum himself, I think he's on his third or fourth attempt himself. I think he's on his third. So he's having a, a struggle with it, and this is his own invented playthrough. So I don't think adding any more harder ideas to this is going gonna, is gonna to make anything any better. However, and here's where it comes. However, uh, winner, winner of the challenge gets to host the other players and discuss the race. I think that's going to happen anyway, and to be honest, I think that host should be Beeblebum. He's the one who invented this particular challenge so by all rights and reasons he should host whatever he wants to host and invite whoever he wants to invite i leave that up to him and i'm not going to tell him what to do or how to do it or anything like that completely and utterly up to him as far as to what he wants to do um so i think as much as that's pretty cool and any of the other players who are doing it like uh like delta or any of the rest jason uh Good luck to you all, and if you all want to do something like that, hey, that's pretty cool. Um, it is difficult to do. I know that some people, like Jason, Beeblebum, Zane, this is what they do. All they do is stream. All they do is live broadcasts, make videos, and this is their life. This is their work and their life, and they do it many hours a day. Um, I saw Beeblebum doing two back-to-back -back live streams that were like five to six hours long. I can't even imagine can't even imagine i think uh that's kind of crazy but if you enjoy doing it why not and at the same time i don't have that kind of time so arranging to have me <laughs> meet anybody or arrange anybody to be be with me i would literally have to take time off of my job uh, and work to do that not to mention i've got a family um on top of it all my wife works which means that I now have to take time away from my family to be able to do this. I try to do this during times of the day when I'm not as impactful of the family itself because we do a lot of things. And sometimes my videos fall behind and some days I got to say, okay, guys, I got to concentrate on this and throw out a few extra videos and get things built up for future reference. So I hope you all understand that that that's a, makes it a little more difficult. Um, one of my longtime commenters now. I, I wouldn't say long time, but one of my most consistent commenters, uh, Bonetta Hudson, um, and that's her gamer tag she has in here. That's the funny part. Uh, Sis Bonetta, as she puts in here. Uh, she wanted to know if, I missed the, if she missed the violation. Someone did make the comment that I was borderline making the violation, but there was another reason why I decided to do this third attempt. Because the second attempt, as great as it was going, Beeblebum has a 2.0 rule thing involved, and it has a completely different understanding of how to do things. And I thought, let me try this one more time, because I think starting over from scratch and getting it going again on a third attempt would be better. So I literally got rid of the second attempt altogether, because there was just too many questions I had regarding it. Um, 
scrapping ships she mentions in here uh can you not can you just not scrap ships right now it looks like that's not the case i don't jason appears to be but i can't tell it's kind of hard to tell if he is or not so we'll see we'll see about that um Let's just keep going here. Gorus Pick 682. If you were at the North or South Pole, you have to go East or West for a few seconds, 15 or 30, before you can go North or South again. But like always, <laughs> yeah, thank you. Very nice. A nice episode. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, so I'm addressing that in this episode. I will be releasing this episode later today, and hopefully you all will see that um, because there's a lot of comments coming in here and there all over the place in regards to stuff. Um, and they're just flying in faster than... Uh, uh, faster than I can keep up with them. Um, literally, I'm recording this, and I'm getting comment after comment after comment after comment. They're just piling in after the last couple of episodes. Uh, Delta-1246, I really help you you succeed. Good luck to you, my friend. Um, I started challenging him as well. He's, he's part of the challenge as well, but he's just crossed over 500 subscribers, and congratulations to you. All right, I think we have enough. Let's do the Under a Rebel Star and get this going, and uh, you know how we have to do that. We've got to go to hyperspace and look for the location. Unless it's in our system. Nope, it leads us over there. Okay, let's take a look, shall we? And it now shows a pirate symbol on the right. Whereas if I go to other systems, they don't show that, of course. But now it's showing it. Even if I hit this, it's just giving me signal echo coordinates. Where it has um, 13 light years, G5F, water, it used to have a little emblem that signified a pirate system. It doesn't do that anymore. They took that away. Because it was too easy for people to find pirate systems. So... We're going to head over there. We should have our hyperdrive, should have enough fuel to make it there, and we may be getting our solar ship, hopefully very soon. So hopefully that you all understand the explanations behind what I've said here, um, because I have put into the comments section that I would go ahead and... Exp there were so many different comments coming in, I thought I'd just address them all verbally on this video here. Love to do it as a live stream, but... I already explained all that. Okay. What do we got? All right, so it seems like it's leading to the right. That's pretty cool. Looks like we have a planet with two more moons. Lifeless planet. Okay, what about this one over here? Moon is... Stay focused. Rainy with aggressive. No, we're going to stay away from you. Wouldn't it be great if it was a pirate corrupted system? Ooh. Isotopic. Activated copper. We need that. We need activated copper. Uh, to repair my ship. There's one item on it that you know, that needs to be repaired that I can't repair because I need activated copper. Uh, what about this one? High energy. More activated copper, and I happen to be going to that planet. Excellent. There's a lot of planets here. Hold on. Is this a moon? Planet. Okay. Looks like mostly water. Boggy. Aggressive. We're going to stay away from you. This is cold planet. You can already tell by looking at it. It's blue for Pete's sake. Uh, yeah, nothing I need there. Okay. Let's head out. So we're going to follow the signal echo coordinates. I don't know if we're going to be doing much here. Um, I don't think we need to do anything more at this point. What I might do is I might land there just to get rid of the notification of the signal echo coordinates and just move and say it disappears and I'll leave. Because I don't think we really need to do anything more with this. But it might give us our solar ship. I don't know. We'll find out in a minute. Could just be a regular crash ship. Could it be a crash site? I don't know. I don't remember. Yay! Radioactive supercell. <laughs> that sounds like fun. Approximate location. Okay, hold on. Um, I think it might be right here. What do you think? Right here. Looks like we have a cargo ship. That looks like that's what it was. Okay. So guess what? Let's go ahead and do it. Oh, stop. I know. Already. Good cre Oh, crap. I can't move. Oh, crap. Where's my ship? Where's my ship? Wow, okay. Dang. That was quick. 
Maybe I should have kept some of that meat on my on my person. Yeah, extreme hazard. My butt, man. Yeah, I did. Okay. Okay, health at maximum. Good, 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 good. Glad I kept that on me. Yeah, I think we're going to wait for the storm to pass. And I'm going to start looking for... Maybe some shields for my person. Uh, how much uh, How much do I have? 20, almost 2,500 nanites. Okay, good. Yeah, that was fun. Boy, that just dropped like a rock. I've never seen, even in extreme storms, I've never seen it drop so quickly. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to pause for a second. There's no reason to keep you guys sitting there staring out of a view screen like this while I, uh, uh, you know, change my uh, depends, you know, at this point. Scared the living piss out of me. Okay, right back, right back. Okay, and we just got the alert that the storm is clearing, so I'm going to just wait for the rads to get back down to a normal level and we'll get out of here so we don't die immediately again. Wow, that was just crazy. Yeah, I noticed. Thanks. Alright, what do we got here? It's not giving me anything about this. Okay. But look at this. My, my radiation protection is dropping like a rock. We got a cave over here? No? Okay. I uh, don't to download the logs. I think we're allowed to do this. I said no wrong saw. Recording. Yeah. Always changes. Tongue. Crimson eye. Leave. Okay, so I'm done. Anything I can do here? Starship launch fuel. Um. Yeah. I think we got enough. Don't you? Microprocessor. Alright, let's go. Not you. I don't want the ship. I don't think I can take the ship, can I? No, I can't even take the ship. Okay. Alright, good. Alright, so we're done with that. Ooh. Okay. So... Yeah, this is a crazy little planet. Alright. What I'd like to find is a little bit of activated copper, if we can. So I'm going to look at the... thing above and watch for... No, I don't think I'm going to do that. I want to try to find a landing pad if I can. How's my launch fuel looking? Pulse engine's down to 2%. Okay, ships. Ships flying past. Uh, hyperdrive I'm not worried about. Launch... Let's use some of you. Alright, moving on. Okay. Sorry, a little quiet there. Got some strange noises in the background. So I think we're going to be abandoning that quest as soon as we get to ourselves to a place. Finding a planet, uh, pardon me, that, going, going to one of those moons I think is going to be our next option. I just really, really wanted some activated copper from here. We just passed over an element. Let me just see what it was. That is not, oh well, you know what, it might be.
What is it? It's uranium. Alright. Okay. Really? My suit inventory is full right now? Unbelievable. Alright. I want to look for it. Magnetized. Activated 848. Uranium. Magnetized. Magnetized. Uranium. Uranium. Obviously uranium. Too bad they all look the same. Activated 494 right behind me. Okay. Let's look at our inventory. We need to fix that. Because that's going to be ridiculous. I'm getting rid of the Viking effigies. Oxygen can go in here. Okay. Launch fuel. Goes in the ship. Alright, dust. We gotta make magnetized. Okay. Okay, let's go. I want to park right next to it, so. Because we are not going to be able to last long, and I know that the next storm is going to be coming in soon. I love when I go to park right next to it and it moves 50 yards ahead. Good grief. Alright, is that enough? Activated copper, yes it is. Alright, do we have any more that needs activated copper? I don't think so. We need dioxide, which we're not going to be able to get anytime soon. I need more gold, I didn't realize it. I have one that requires more gold. We can get that in space. Platinum. And magnetized ferrite. Okay. Alright, so we're getting somewhere here. How much of that activated copper did I get? 39? I'd like to get a little bit more. Because I can turn that into chromatic metal down the road. It's a one-to-one -one ratio on that, so that's going to be handy. Okay, that should be good. find ourselves a nice little more temperate planet to go ahead and do this on. Maybe even a moon. Uh, creepy music? Anybody? What in the world happened? Oh, a storm started and it didn't warn me. Okay, that's nice. We're leaving. All right, where to? All right, let's see, what about this one? Lifeless, and that's the one that has the moons, right? Let's go here. A moon, that has a moon. Yeah, let's go there. I'd rather go there, I think. And what is the moon like? Let's take a check out the moon real quick. We, ne we need some... Hold on, come on. Line up. Thank you. Okay. Oh, Satopic. It's going to be tough there, too. But we might go to the lifeless planet, because I think we can get more done there. Alright, we need gold. A little bit more. We don't need much. About 50. Ah, 
the darker ones, huh? Uh, that didn't give us the darker one. Okay, maybe not. It was all lies. Please tell me we got a gold nugget. No? It's gonna take forever. Again, creepy. Creepy, creepy music. We're almost there. Yeah, lots of tritium hyperclusters. May have to start selling those. Okay, come on. No, no more blue. I've got plenty of blue. I don't need any more blue. I need gold. I need gold. Give me the gold. I'm getting everything but what I'm looking for. Gold out of that one. Oh, for crying out loud, how fast, how close do I have to be? I am getting no gold. I have stopped getting gold. There, finally, a little bit of gold. Give me some gold. All right, let's get out of the field. How much did we get anyway? Yeah, we're still short. Please be only one. He actually missed me. Oh, where'd he go? Uh, okay, wait a minute. There. I oh, left my... Looks like he was the only one. Okay, where was I? Hey, we got six gold out of that. I do want a little extra gold just in case. Because you know how it's going to be. Finally. How much gold we got? Can we repair it now? Whatever. Um, right. No, we need 75 gold. Of course we need 75 gold. <laughs> One gold nugget would have done it.
Yeah, it seems to be the darker ones, like the really dark, like this one. Yeah, that seems to be the gold. That might be gold. Oh, nope, silver that time. See, I'm lying. How we doing? Oh, we got 80. Okay. So we can repair you finally. Alright. Done. Let's get out of here. Alright, so where are we heading? We're heading toward the lifeless planet, correct? Not you. We're heading towards... Not you. Uh, you, right? Lifeless planet. Here we come. And then we're going to head to the moon. And we're going to start searching the moon for a solar ship. Which I think, looking at the time of this episode, is probably going to be our next episode. So we'll see how that goes. Good grief. More comments. Okay, yeah. Alright, thank you, Bonetta. Actually reading this while I'm playing. Good, good, good. Alright, what is that? Yep, got it, good. Okay, we're coming in. Coming in hot. I think we can get out of the first person view now. I don't think we're going to find anything to land on because, you know, it's a lifeless planet for a reason. But the one thing we shouldn't find on this planet is we shouldn't find any, uh, anybody, period, including sentinels. They'll be the, they'll be the eggs like you can see in front of me, but we'll just leave those alone. See? And if I'm not, if I'm not, yeah, that's what I thought. Require obedience. Well, I hope that's not the case. Because this would make for a very short run here. Alright, we need our refiner. So I need to get some... Ferrite dust. We're going to make pure ferrite, uh, followed by... Wow, look at all the tritium in my inventory. Unbelievable. How much is this worth? Okay, I might get rid of those. So, we need a lot of magnetized ferrite. We need platinum, and i got to figure out a place to find it. So, we need 5,100. And... Looks like we need 100 magnetized ferrite. Okay. Give or take. There it is. So we'll need 60, let's see, 36, so 64 more. Because I don't want to carry a ton of magnetized ferrite on me, I am going to just produce exactly how much I need and call it a day. Okay, good. I haven't seen any sentinels yet, so at least that's something. I have two geology cannon upgrades. Fascinating. Something I can sell if we ever make it to the station up there. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this gold. I don't need it. I uh, don't know why I said I would need it. I'm not going to need it. Uh, hyperdrive. Let's go ahead and put you in there. So that's going to give us a little more free space in there. we got two anomaly detectors. That could come in handy if we want to get some, I don't know, something. May not give us anything, but we'll see. It could become in handy for us. All right, let's repair. That's going to be you. So that's a new spot available and another new spot available. So we got that open now. So we only have three, six, seven, seven cargo spots left, and these two. And we need wiring loan. You know what? Why didn't I think of that? Does that give us a wiring loan? Sure did. I'd rather have that. Why didn't I think of that? Okay, good deal. That gives us two wiring looms. Uh, so we can re repair you now. And that should be fully repaired. We're back to normal. Excellent. And then we can go to our starship and repair you. 
And I want to get this repaired. Excellent. We now have more shield. Beautiful. And we can get rid of that at some point when we need to. Alright, good deal. Well, that worked out nicely now, did it? Okay, put you up here, put you up here. I got a ton of silver I can get rid of and sell so much tritium. Oh my gosh. I may start using it in favor of, you know, pyrite or anything else, so... Just to get by, but the silver has got to go. We'd have no reason to have it. And we can get rid of these hyperclusters as well. Yeah, we'll sell the hyperclusters. I don't think we're going to need those anytime soon. What else we got? We got some chlorine on us we can get rid of. I'm going to put it in the ship inventory because we're going to sell it. Tons of ferrite. Well, we got those. Let's go ahead and... There we go. That's good. Uh, I got a good amount of hop, uh, activated copper. We know what to do with that. Like I said, one-to-one -one ratio. We'll get 144 chromatic metal out of it, and that'll be handy for us as well. Got some Starship launch fuel. Okay, we're in pretty good shape. We just gotta stay alive now. Only thing I don't like is it doesn't tell you how you're doing. Like, if you've lost a heart, it doesn't tell you that. So is there anything out here? Rusted metal. Copper. And cobalt. Okay. So really nothing. Okay. Alright, so good deal. Anything else we want to sell from our inventory? We're going to sell all this. I don't think we have inventory space on there. We do. We do. And five. Okay, so that's full now over there. Okay. How's our multi-tool doing? Actually. Okay. Mining beam is okay. All right. All right, very good. Very, very, very good. Okay, we filled up our inventory over here. I'm not too, too worried about it. I'm not going to be doing anything lately. But I really need to sell some stuff. So I'm looking forward to moving it over to my... Um, solar ship at some point. Okay. We good? I think we're good. Time to go a searching. Wow, creepiest music ever. Not sure I like it, to be honest. Just, it's kind of scary, almost, you know. Alright, so where is our moon? Our moon is there. Okay, it's an isotopic moon. It's going to be dangerous, because it has activated copper. Let's bring it in. Looks like there's a storm already going on. Let's see what the rads are like. Okay. Oh, they got storm crystals here too, huh? Yeah, look at that. I'm not too concerned about that. I mean, storm crystals are worth quite a bit, so it would be nice to get some, but I am not going to concern myself with it yet. I'm going to slow down a little bit because things are not populating as quickly as I'd like. It's not telling me what it's like on the environment here. Other than, hey, this is a nasty place. So once the storm's over, we'll check it out. Lots of lightning. I was hoping to find some kind of settlements or something, but... I don't really need to find a settlement. I just mean, you know, it'd be kind of nice to find some stuff on the ground here. Really? Still recharging? Come on. Charge already. This atmosphere? And we're watching for crashed ships, right? So this is going to be a system we're definitely going to be looking at as far as crashed ships, ships are concerned. Hmm. 
know what I should do? I should head up to the space station, not land on it. Just head up there and make sure this really is a pirate system, but no, it should be, right? Is that what it says? Hmm. Looks like we have it on two and no moons over there. We're on one of them. Let's go a little quicker here. Love to see if they could actually ever... Huh. Now I'm beginning to wonder about this system completely. I mean, we've got a lot of damaged machinery on down on the planet, so that's at least something. But I'm not finding anything. I mean, this is really, really odd. I'm sure you would agree. I'm literally just flying along and weaving a little bit because I want to see if I can find anything at all. Ah, now we got something, finally. What are you? Yeah, I wasn't intending to hit the ground, thank you. Alright, just an abandoned campsite. I keep going in that direction? What do you think? I think we'll go in that direction. Nothing. Nothing, I tell you. Looks like we got ourselves a crashed freighter. So we could utilize its landing grid in order to land someplace, but... Man, wouldn't it be amazing if you could acquire a crashed freighter and then repair it? But geez, how long would that take? What have we? Oh, landing pad. All right, this is a big settlement type area. Okay. All right, let's take a look. Looks like it's coming up on daylight. That's another good thing. Extreme night radiation yeah, radiation. Heavy radiation. Sort of going south, okay. Whoops. Yeah, doing that a lot, aren't I? This red's got long feet on this thing. Looks like a drop pod. I wouldn't mind a drop pod. Let's go ahead and stop by the drop. And we'll take a look around. Except I'm going to park in such a way that I can get in and out of that thing pretty easily. How we doing? Falling like a rock as usual. Okay. And that's it. Alright, let's go inside. I don't need Viking effigies, but that's okay. Alright, so we need... The usual. One of you. One of you. And... Some sodium nitrate. Sodium. Right. Sorry. Always doing that. There we go. There we go. OK. 
Okay, so a little more boost to my inventory. That's at least something. All right, let's take a look. How many? How many we got on this? Uh, ten species. Yeah, that's not going to take long. All right, what do we got around here? We have the drop pod we're in. An unknown building in the distance over there. We have an unknown grave. That's even more important. We will head to the unknown grave, shall we? We're gonna use a lot of... Sodium. Yes. Where is it? I marked it. Where did I put it? Hi guys. Is there any solar ships amongst you? No? Okay. Alright, where'd the grave go? You know I marked it. There it is. Jeez, that was weird. So, this will be our first glyph. Now there is one change to the rules that he made, that we can enter a regular space station, but only with a forged passport. So keep that in mind. I'm not going to read this. And we now have our first glyph. Okay, but we also get something else out of the uh, deal. We get one of these. Which is giving us a prepackaged cloaking unit, which I don't like using. But guess what? I'm going to get stuff out of it, which includes a wiring loom. Awesome. Okay. And a solar mirror. That's always handy. I like that. Oh, I need to find myself a solar ship. All right. Wait, what was that? Okay. Really would like to find a ship ship. No, that's just a... Okay. We were mostly heading south. I'll go ahead and head in that direction. Because we're really interested in finding something. I know we're over an hour here, but I need to find some things here. Maybe... Whatever the next... Conglomeration is. I know Beeblebum just travels really, really slow, and he's able to find... Like, look at that little depression in the ground there. That's just begging for a starship to be hidden there, and... It's just like I don't see them myself. I don't know what he sees that I don't. He's just obviously better. Discovering these things. Okay. I just like to check my radar because I inadvertently always pass over things. Oh, great. I got a nice, wonderful glare on the screen. And another storm. It's the only problem with these types of moons. Now there are a couple, there's another moon in the system. I ought to check it out and see what we got. Because maybe that'll be a better place for me to go. Abandoned building, okay. All right, let's head off this planet, I think. Because this one is just completely and utterly dangerous to me. I don't have shielding to stay here. Okay. Alright, let's check it out. So there is another moon here. Another planet with a moon. And I think it's the same planet. Is it over there? It is over there. Okay, let's go over there. Um, yeah, I gotta get out of this planet's atmosphere to get through it. There we go. Okay. Should be popping up here. There it is. Alright, so what are you? Aggressive Sentinels, though. 
I'm willing to give it a shot. In the hopes that maybe I'll find something on the planet. But of course I had to have aggressive sentinels, right? Remember the time when it used to be that pirates would not attack you if you were... flying into a planet area? Alright, two ships are over there. They just happen to be flying. Okay, let's pick a direction. This looks good. And start scanning it. First off, we just find a... That's pretty far out. It's probably a trading platform. Trading post, as they're called, yes. And I'm just going to keep... See, this is a nice place to look. I don't mind looking here. This is pretty. I don't like the, the, the sentinels in it that are aggressive, but, you know, this might work out for me. Just want to stay away from the trees best you can. Okay, you got one of those places. That's nice. No more sentinel battles for me. I think we're done with that for a little bit. See, rarely do you find a... Yeah, see? Trading post. Yeah. Rarely do you find a... Uh... Ah, uh, that was going somewhere with that. I'm sorry. Lost my train of thought. With all these trees here, I'm hoping that there'll be, like, clearings like this, and you'll just see a ship sitting in it. And that would make things easier for us to find a crashed ship. Because crashed ships are going to be the key to getting us technology. We're also watching for other things on our radar. We're looking for glyphs. We're looking for anything that we can find here. Unmarked graves, that is. That's just a little camp site, as I call it. Both ways, because you never know. Always hit it just a touch early. Yeah, can't believe it. Slow down. I would have thought I would have found something by now, honestly. Okay. Just had to pick this soundtrack for my uh, run through today, huh? See, I just did a scan. How come this didn't show up? Unbelievable. I wonder about these scanners sometimes. I don't think they work right. Is that something we could have fixed? What about in here? Shouldn't there be something in here? Come on. Head to the dark hills here, buddy. That looks like we got something over here. Unknown building, it says. Do another scan while we're coming up on it. Yeah, just a couple of those guys. I'm kind of erratic here. I haven't really...
decided which way to go, and we're already getting towards nightfall again. A little early. Yep, look at that. I don't know, maybe we'll be able to find something better. I want to at least end the episode finding something interesting. I mean, the last episode, we definitely were very interesting at the end there. Kind of would have expected something to be right in this area, but... If I was comfortable flying upside down, it might be easier to find things. I don't know. Maybe. Okay. It's a moon for Pete's sake. We should be finding we should find a ton of stuff on this planet. On this moon. See there's one right there too. What's what's you? That just looks like an abandoned area. Okay, good. What about the other one? Where'd you go? There you are. It looks like just another campsite, right? Oh, you're just killing me here. Come on. Yeah, just a couple shelters. Still yet, I haven't found any crashed ships. Apparently nobody crashes in this system at all. As there are no crashed ships here. Hmm. Flying creatures. Another one over there. Sideways a little bit so we can see. Oh, hello there. And you even got a mech down there. Yeah, that looked like it might be a fun party. Nope, just a campsite again. this way. I mean, it's... Um, I'm stuck. There we go. I hate when that happens. You've run into that before, I'm sure, too. I hate to end it this way, but uh, we're going to have to end this episode very soon. We're well over an hour now, and uh, little to nothing I'm finding on this planet. And I was hoping to find something on this moon, I should say. Drop pod. Okay, well, this is like as good a place as any is to go ahead and uh, yeah, get things done. How bad is the planet? I just got to watch out for the uh, sentinels. No? Okay, nobody's showing up yet. I'm going to go ahead and grab that because I don't know if my health is okay or not. Okay, there we go. And then let's tuck ourselves in here. Oh, great. My wing is inside the uh, unit here. Okay, so we need to do one and one. And, of course, ten more sodium. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do it. Uh, let's see. Okay, while we're waiting... Okay. 
All right, where are we going to put you? Uh, let's see. we got an open space down here, and then we're going to start working our way down from there. Okay. Upgraded. So, needless to say, uh, I think we're going to have to end, end this episode from deep inside this drop pod. Because this is a scary place to be. Aggressive Sentinels, I'm going to get my butt kicked if I step outside. So, anywho, um, so we're going to stand here and hide, and uh, let's go ahead and just pull back a little bit so we can see. Yeah, there I am, sitting inside a drop pod. Yep, scared. Okay, so again, thank you all for watching. We're going to go ahead and end the episode here. Please hit that like and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. And we'll go ahead and get a couple more episodes. This one's going to be released a little bit earlier than episode 5 and 6, which I will be releasing later on tonight. So thank you all for watching. Take care, everybody. We'll see you in the next one.